There are a number of ruins on Earth which are either located atop nearly impossible mountaintops or on the ledges of desert hilltops, making sanctuaries from masterfully cut stone temples, and Masada is of no exception. The first official funded excavations in the area took place from 1963 to 1965 and was under former IDF chief of staff and archaeologist Yigal Yadin. The dry desert climate allowed the preservation of classy frescoes and organic remains belonging to the rebels who once called the sanctuary temples home. However, it has long been claimed that the archaeological team were not given full access to the site and have repeatedly noted that they are aware of the site's secret underground layers, yet were not able to fully explore it during the 60s. However, recent changes to attitudes toward historic sites has secured funding for a full exploration of these as yet unexplored underground tunnels. For the first time since 2006, a Tel Aviv University team, headed by Roman period archaeologist Guy Stiebel, have launched new excavations at the UNESCO World Heritage Site, examining previously unexplored areas of the legendary fortress. Quote, this is the next generation, Stiebel told the Times, adding that his team planned to excavate new sections of the dwellings as well as a garden constructed by Herod. He further noted, quote, Our intention is to further explore a mysterious underground structure that was detected in the earliest aerial photographs of the site in the 1920s. Yet, alas, the building's underground layers have remained unexplored. Dr. Stiebel, intriguingly, although seemingly aware of the void's existence, was reluctant to label its past uses, stated that it was possibly used as a hideout or escape route during the Siege of Masada, although he made it clear that he is unsure at the moment of the original purpose of the underground systems. Dr. Stiebel exclaimed his excitement to return to the site after an 11-year absence in statements to the media, quote, a lifetime would not suffice to get a glimpse of all the hidden beauties of Masada. Its magic is not just in the equipment, it is also in small things." End quote. Even though several experts believe that more than 95% of Masada's total size has already been explored, Stiebel believes that its core is yet to be discovered. We will, of course, keep you posted on any controversial or intriguing discoveries made during the excavations. It is a place which we find highly compelling. <laughs>